Good morning, Vikings, and welcome back to Viking View here at Emmett High School. Students, today is the last day that you can donate your new or gently used stuffed animals for Cook's Children's Medical Center. The box of donations is held at the front of the desk. On a different note, just a reminder that today there will be a ballet folklorico performance at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Bring your friends and family for a good time. And now to the Dave Cage for sports. Good morning, Nimitz Nation. I'm David with Sport. Today and tomorrow at 9, our wrestling team is competing at Paul Arby Championship at the R.L. Turner High School. Also today, our Lady Vikings basketball team will be at Nimitz High School and they will be playing against Hebron. The time that they start is, freshmen will start at 5 and the JV and varsity will play at 6.30. Also today and tomorrow, our boys basketball team will be at Cedar Hill for the Cedar Hill Tournament. And don't forget, if you want to be in track and field on December 12th, Coach Small and Coach Hull is inviting anybody to room 206 for a meeting to anybody that wants to join. Now back to you, Walter. Thanks, Dave. Students, if you missed the morning National Honor Society meeting, don't worry because there will be an afternoon meeting today at 420. $5 dues are accepted during this meeting and please don't be late. Speaking of meetings, the Science Club will have their first study session at 8.30 a.m. at Ebring High School. And now to Edder for his jolly segment. Thanks, Walter. Morning, Vikings. This is Edder here with a special segment. I'm here to talk about some of the long-time running Christmas traditions and how they came to be. Today's tradition is Christmas stockings. There's a story to tell with this one, so sit tight. Once upon a time, a nobleman and his family were greatly suffering. Not only had his wife died of illness, but his three daughters were in as much of a bind as he was. All hope had seemed lost for them until a former monk by the name of Singer Claus discreetly helped the poor family by leaving bags of gold near their chimney and one of those bags of gold just so happened to fall into one of those socks that was left to dry. The three daughters were able to recover from the slums, found good lives, and even managed to care for their father. And they all lived happily ever after. Now that's all for today. Back to you, Walter. Thanks, Edward. Well, that's some news for today, Vikings. Have an awesome Friday. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.